In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the rollup, rollup group, and is subtotal DAX functions in Power BI. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along and understand as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So we're going to cover three different DAX functions today, and th all three of them are a little bit unusual because, at least as far as I know, you can only be used with the summarize DAX function. Now, summarize is one of the DAX functions you want to use if you want to group your data into a table. So let me show you with a demo. So we're going to go through this and using this uh, report with some example data that we are going to use as a sort of our baseline. So as usual, this is the Northwind data set, which details all the orders that have been made and sold by the company to international customers. And we already have set up some relationships and tables here. So we have a list of all, essentially all of our orders, who ordered them and when. We have information about the orders themselves, which products were ordered, unit price and quantity. We have a table list of products. So what products there are and their names. And then the customers table, which is a list of all of our customers and which country they belong to, as well as their company name. And then finally, the categories of the products that we sell. For easiness, I've already created a measure here, total sales as usual, which simply calculates the total sales for an order by multiplying the quantity of the products ordered multiplied by the unit price. So we're going to go to the data view here. And let's say we want to create a table that groups our sales, our total sales by our products categories. So let's start by creating a new table here, because if you remember if you watched my videos around Summarize a while back, Summarize returns a table, not a scalar or a single value. So we need to create a new table for this. So we're gonna name just this one, just table. And we're gonna say uh, Summarize, here we go. So the first thing that we will, we will ask is the table that we want. So in this case, we want the order details and then the group by one to group it by the category name. And then we will need to add the expressions that we want to add in this grouping. So in this case, the aggregation. So in this case, we will just use the sales, we'll name it sales. And then the value in that column will be essentially what is the result of the total sales. So total sales understands the context that it's being grouped by categories. So when we hit enter, you will see that it will give us the total sales for each of the product categories that we have. Pretty simple, right? So the first function that we're going to look at is the rollup, which is essentially a modifier that allows you to add a subtotal row within your actual table. So to use it, you will simply need to wrap the, uh, let's say the category or the column that you are grouping your table with, with the rollup function. So in this case, we have the category name, we will wrap it with the rollup like this and close it. And here you will see that the result adds this new row here, which totals pretty much all of the sales that we have across all of our different categories. So instead of relying on visuals to calculate and present your total values or subtotals for you, you can simply use the data that is generated in this table uh, for your total, essentially. If you want to be able to distinguish which row of data is your subtotal, you can simply use this function called isSubtotal, which returns true if it is and false if it isn't. So before this gets a little bit complicated, I'm just going to organize my summarize function here and just add a bit of formatting so we can understand what's going on. Here we go. 
So we're going to add a new column expression combination here. We're going to name this one um, category subtotal. And then for this result, we're going to use subtotal, is subtotal. Then we're going to say category name. And here is the result. You'll see that it returns tr false. If that row is not a subtotal using the rollup, then it returns true if it is. You can have multiple columns in your rollup, which gives partial subtotals in your rollup rows. So for example, in our rollup here, we have category name. And let's say we want to add another one here to expand our group. And let's say we want to get the country, customer's country. So you'll see here that first you have the subtotal of all your categories, and then you get the subtotal of each of the category on each of the country. So you can see the values of the sales for each of those combinations. Since we have multiple groupings in your rollup, perhaps you want to identify which rows are the subtotal of which. So which in this case, we can also use the is subtotal, but refer to that new column. So in this case, we're going to add another column here. We'll just call it country subtotal. And then we'll use if subtotal once more, and then we will use the customer country. Hit enter. You will see that it will return true whenever it is a subtotal of the country. And then obviously false if it isn't. This allows us to distinguish which rows are subtotal for which column grouping. If you want to keep the subgrouping of your rollups without adding the additional subtotals in your new table, you can use and combine the rollup with the rollup group, which does exactly that. So what we need to do is we need to change the rollup into a rollup group and then wrap that rollup group within a rollup function right here. If we hit enter, you will see that now you will not have that partial subtotal, which we have, uh, it was resulting earlier. We just have the total, let's say subtotal that we want with the groupings that we want, which is category and the country grouping. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how to use these DAX functions rollup, rollup group, and is subtotal in combination with the summarized DAX function in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.